the success of an innovation cluster like Silicon Valley is one of the key predictors of a community future economic success. More and more of our jobs depend on innovation, on the creation of new knowledge, new technologies, or new products. They depend less and less on the physical production of things that can be replicated somewhere else. So having cities, having an innovation cluster is probably one of the key determinants of that community future economic success. A successful innovation hub is a very interesting and remarkable equilibrium. You have many skilled workers looking for jobs and many specialized employers and innovative employers looking for workers. The more workers you attract uh, and the more employers you attract, the stronger the cluster becomes. It, it, it has a magnetic uh, power. The, the larger it is, the more, the more it's, it's beneficial to, to locate there. Uh, the forces of attraction make it particularly, uh, uh, the forces of attraction generate a positive feedback where success feeds more success. A city that doesn't have a lot of innovative employers and a lot of skilled workers is in the opposite situation. It, it basically, uh, because it doesn't have, it's a chicken and egg problem, because it doesn't have many employers in, in innovation and many skilled workers in that sector, it's not attractive to employers in, the, in, in innovation and skilled workers uh, w with those skills. Um, as you can see, this type of dynamics, th this type of dynamics are self-reinforcing. Areas with a lot of high tech and a lot of skilled workers tend to attract even more. Areas with fewer, with fewer innovative employers and fewer talented workers attract even less. The self-reinforcing dynamics make, make it very hard for cities that don't have an innovation cluster today to break out of, this, uh, of their uh, negative feedback loop. Uh, and this is one of the reasons why in today's economy, American cities are increasingly diverging in their fortunes. Strong economies become stronger and weak economies are becoming weaker. This reflects the, the magnetic power of, of clusters that are um, reinforcing uh, areas that are already strong to begin with. The key predictor of the community economic success today is the number of college graduates in that community. It, looking forward, it's likely that cities that have a lot of college graduates today will keep attracting a lot of college graduates and innovative employers. So looking forward, it's likely that, you know, looking 5, 10, 20 years down the road, it's likely that cities that today already have a lot of college graduates are going to be the job and income engine of our country. And cities that don't have many college graduates are going to lose further ground. The self-reinforcing self -reinforcing dynamics make it clear that cities that are already strong today are getting, are, will become stronger and stronger in the coming years and decades. And cities that are weak today will tend to become weaker and weaker in the coming years and decades. So if people are looking at a place where to locate a business or where to look for for job, the best predictor that of an individual or a community success will be the number of college graduates in the labor force in that city.